Yeah, the flying sport trip. <laughs> Okay, so on my second China blind student mission trip, I went to Beijing up there. Um, and here, I'll just get up because it's easier. Okay, and uh, this is a picture of all of us, the teachers, at the front gates of the of the uh, blind school. And this is a picture of the majority of the students that uh, were there at the blind school, and this lady in the green is the president, uh, the president of the blind school. So, because the students are either um, severely visu visually impaired or completely blind, they have to compromise uh, in terms of how they learn. And one way they learn is they had this little set that they can uh, type in Braille onto the paper so that they can read the Braille. Um, and this person isn't completely blind, but he has to stay really close to the paper so that he can write his notes. And this, this girl, she has a magnifier, so she puts it on the paper and the, this electronic magnifier will blow up the, the words on the paper so that she can see a little more clearly about what she's reading. And this is my uh, lower school class. They were the younger kids that I taught. And we learned nursery rhymes, and we had a lot of fun. So I taught about 25 people um, how to play Amazing Grace on the recorder this year. So this was my class. And we performed Amazing Grace on July 10, 2014 at the, uh, the talent show. So we taught them how, how to say the massage terminology in English because a lot of the students, uh, after they graduate, they'll most likely become masseuse. So we taught them the massage terminology in English so they can carry a conversation with their clients. And we also taught gospel songs like Amazing Grace and American Culture. And I taught them the holidays from starting from uh, Halloween to Thanksgiving and Christmas and St. Patrick's Day. And one of the days we visited this Tianqiao, a massage center, was it's a massage center um, by blind masseuse. So these are all the um, people who work there and they're all blind and this was them sharing their experience with us. And we also visited the China Blind Literature Library. And this man up here is the president of this uh, blind literature library. And this, this man right here, he's blind. And he's, he works at the library. What he does is he proofreads all the work that is sent into him so they can publish it and put it into the archives. And what he does is actually kind of neat. He has this pop-up kind of um, braille keyboard so that whatever words are on the screen right here, he can feel on his keyboard so he can read what's on the screen without actually needing to look at it. And here we're visiting um, their movie theater in this library and we learned how blind people watch movies. It's actually really interesting. Uh, what, what, what happens is while there, the movie is playing, there is a live narrator on the side of the theater. And whenever there is no dialogue or any sound happening in the movie, the narrator will narrate what's happening so that even though the blind people can't exactly um, see what's going on in the movie, they can hear what's going on in the movie. And uh, this was our worship team at the Beijing church for the blind, and this is a picture of all of us. And this is um, all the teachers and the and the blind students uh, party rocking and um, just having a lot of fun and um, singing and dancing and having fun with each other. So just to recap a little bit from my first China mission trip, I went to Zhengzhou with the Life Light Educational Foundation. And this is a picture of all the students at the Zhengzhou Blind School. And again, I taught um, Amazing Grace to about 14 students. And this is a picture of all of us here. 
And we also had uh, a worship team and worship services at the Ginger Line School. And this was the benefit concert I held last year, and we received a whopping amount of more than $21,000, and uh, way higher than my expectations. So this was how we divided up the money to be sent to the Braille Institute of America, the Jinjou Blind School, and the Beijing Blind School. So I hope you enjoyed the performance, and thank you for all your, all your financial contribution, and have a nice day.